Yo everyone, what is going on? This is the Poke Technician back here again, bringing you a 6v6 Smogan OU singles battle against Wicked Ways, aka my boy JJ. Now JJ has been getting a lot better at battling. He's been consulting with uh, the Squirrel Squad battle group, learning many strategies, both singles and doubles. Uh, here, this is a singles, like I said. And I am going to be bringing another theme team. You guys really seem to enjoy the theme team, so I am back at you again with the Gen 5 theme team this time. We are bringing Sticky Webs Galvantula with Thunder Volt Switch, uh, Sticky Webs and Energy Ball. We've got Wide Lens Cling Clang. <laughs> I do not want to miss any gear grinds. We've got Shift Gear, Gear Grind, Wild Charge Facade. Uh, the Simple uh, Focus Sash. Swoobat with Calm Mind, Roost, Air Slash, and Stored Power. We have Choice Scarfed, Mian Shao with U-Turn, Knock Off, Poison Jab, and High Jump Kick. Heavy Duty Boots, Defog, Manda Buzz with Roost, Knock Off, U-Turn, and Amoongus holding the Black Sludge with Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Spore, and Stun Spore. We are going to choose this team and get on with the battle. Hopefully you guys enjoy the background music. I'll amp that up a bit, because I feel like I'm being a little loud here. And we will let the battle begin. JJ, good luck, have fun, man. Either way this goes down, I am looking forward to a great battle. I'm going to let him know there's no max. No max, of course. And he is bringing a pretty fun team, too. I don't have any fire types, so his Durant is a problem for me. Toxapex is a bit scary, but I do think we have the ability to beat that with our setup sweepers. Um, I am going to just leave the, uh, the Galvantula, because Sticky Webs are pretty good here. They're going to do what I want them to. Um, and Galvantula isn't the biggest deal. Uh, it does deal with some things, but I can get the smart switch. So we'll just lead with it. Again, this is a pretty casual game. No big stakes or anything like that. Good luck, JJ. Wicked ways. I'm a little bit scared right now because I know that he has been uh, practicing a lot and he deserves all the props in the world for that. Out comes the Toxapex. No big deal. So here, I think the Thunder is the play. Thunder is going to hit anything except for the Clay Doll, which I can subsequently throw Sticky Webs at or an Energy Ball. So I'm just going to click the Thunder. You might want to set up... Oh, he does withdraw. Out into the Clay Doll. Good move on him. Here, I probably will just hard switch. I could put up my Sticky Webs. Do I have a Ghost type? I don't think so. Okay. Clay Doll is going to get pretty hard walled by something like my Mandibuzz. If he wants to get up his own rocks, that's his choice. Stone Edge, I don't really see doing much to my Mandibuzz. It's pretty physically defensive. He goes for Rapid Spin. He's going to increase his speed a little bit. So his speed rises, but I think he does have to be wary here of the knockoff. At the same time, I'm not sure where he's at in his developmental process here, if he's worried about the knockoff. And the knockoff really can benefit us a lot. So could the U-turn. I think against a really, really good player, I would go against the U-turn. And I'm just not sure where JJ's at in his development here. So I am going to... I think the knockoff is just the play here. There's a lot that I can roost against, so I'm going to go for the knockoff. He does stay in. Okay. I thought he might do that. Perfect. I'm glad I stayed in, because that Dazzling Gleam is going to do very little, and I will get the knockoff off. <laughs> Knocking off his Citrus, which is perfect. Here, I could go for the U-turn or the roost. Um, if I go shift gear with my clean clang, I can do quite a bit. I think here I will just go for the U-turn. He should be able to outspeed me after his rapid spin. So the U-turn is pretty free. He does withdraw the clay doll. 
And we will see him go out into the Sylveon here. Okay. Nice switch on his part, but I do get the initiative with my U-turn. So he's going to do very, very little to a Sylveon, of course. So. What I have to take on the Sylveon is mostly the Clang Clang. The Bat is also an option. Sylveon doesn't have anything like a Haze. Mm, I'm trying to remember. I'm, I am, I'm just kind of scared. I think the uh, Clean Clang is more of an expendable option on my part. If he specs Mystical Fire, I still don't think he'll be able to Oko me, and I should be able to Oko him after a Shift Gear. I'm also running the wrong ability on this Pokemon for some reason. I keep forgetting to change it. It is plus. <laughs> don't judge me, guys. Anyhow, yeah, here the shift gear is definitely the play, so that's what I'm going to go for. He withdraws, probably, okay, out in the slow king, cool. Good choice on his part. Um, what do I think? Do I want to just go for the wild charge because... In case you guys didn't know, uh, Slowbro is the more defensive variant, whereas Slowking is more of a special defensive. The thing I do like about that, uh, in terms of Slowking, is that you can max out his defense and slap on the Assault Vest and do a lot, but... At the same time, I don't think he'll be able to do much to my Mandibuzz. I like that I'm shift geared, but I can still save this for later. I do very realistically think that the um, the Swoobat can sweep. I think here I'm going to go out into the bird, because I really don't see him going for something like an Ice Beam here. Maybe a Teleport, or God forbid a Toxic or T-Wave or something like that. But Let's see, he goes for the Fire Blast. That's actually going to miss. So I could have had a good time there, there's no doubt, but... Here, knockoff is a great play. So is Roost, but I think knockoff is the obvious play. See what he is going for here. He goes out into the Durant. Yep, great play on his part. Hopefully I can knock off a life orb here or something along those lines. Assault vest, okay, interesting. Um, here I'm going to opt to go for the U-turn, I think. I would prefer the slow U-turn into something like the, um, the Galvantula. This is, this mod is a real problem for us, quite frankly. Its speed is a really good tier, but I can revenge it with the Mian Chao, so I'm going to go for the U-turn here. Goes for the Stone Edge. He does hit it, wow. Good on him, but my bird is pretty defensive, so I will be able to tank that. Click the U-turn, get very little damage off. So here, like I said, my options are the Mian Shao, the Bat. Um, I could actually go back out into my Clean Clang, I think. Might have something like the Stomping Tantrum. Could go out into this as well, the, uh, the Mushroom. He went for Stone Edge. I'm sure he's got like an Iron Head type attack. You'd think he had First Impression, but maybe he has the X Scissor. Either way, I think I am going to go out into the Amoongus here. Amoongus looking like a great Mon. Should be able to tank one of anything from him. He was the Assault Vest variant, so you know he's all attacks. Um, opponents. Anything to take a Spore, nothing to take a Spore here. So that is what we are going to go for, is the Spore. He goes for the Iron Head. That should do pretty little, relatively. Okay, cool. When we do get off the Spore, we'll get a little bit back with Black Sludge, and then when we switch out, we will recover basically to full with our Regenerator ability. So 
So, I do think Galvantula is a great option here. I am going to go out into the Galvantula. Now that he doesn't have the um, Assault Vest, I do think my Thunder should be able to Oko it from this range. He withdraws, okay. That's fine with me. Because like I said, I will be able to get my um, Regenerator recovery. This is really nice. And here I can just opt to go for the Volt Switch. I am just going to go for the Volt Switch. Uh, probably back out into the Cling Cling. He'll probably click his move pretty quick. Yep, he stays in. Good on him. Uh, the Volt Switch does a pretty solid amount of damage. I'm happy with the amount of damage that that does. And here we're back out into the Cling Cling. If he does go for the Mystical Fire, good on him. It's a really great move. He might. Goes for the Wish. Okay. So the Wish is a good move on his part, for sure. Um, here I am going to opt to go for the Shift Gear, I think. Oh no, I clicked the Wild Charge on accident. He goes for the Protect, that's fine. No big deal. I was trying to go for the Shift Gear there, guys, I'm sorry. I have really bad Joy-Con Drift, and uh, I should have just taken my time more. My fault too. Anyhow, here a Shift Gear will do just fine. I'm in practically the same situation, he just has more HP. Mystical Fire will 2 co me, but I am faster, obviously. Maybe I should have just gone to the gear grind there. Does have stab. His uh, defense is a weaker stat by far than the special defense. Ends up withdrawing though, so that's actually kind of nice for me in terms of setting up. Let's see what, he went for the Fire Blast last time. I do think here that a Wild Charge will do a good amount of damage. Let's see. Should do over half of his HP, I'm thinking, for sure. I have about uh, base uh, 462, I think, attack after shifting gears. And obviously my speed will outspeed anything on his team. Anything non-priority. We're going to click a wild charge and take him down to almost nothing. He's got the weakness policy. Ooh, that's a, that's a cool set. But really, I don't see it. What's he going for? Fire Blast. He does connect. That's going to take me out, I'm sure. Yep. Does take me out there. Unfortunate. But he has used up his weakness policy, so... Here I can go out into my uh, Mian Shao, click the U-turn, safely get the initiative that I need. Yeah, super unfortunate there. Hopefully I can make the comeback. We're only about halfway into this battle, maybe just over. But that's a cool set. He withdraws the Slow King, is going to get his Regenerator back, of course. Out comes the Sylveon. And now Sylveon is super annoying for this team. Oh, I feel so annoyed. Okay. Anyhow. I don't want to be a bad sport here, so I am going to just try and go for the victory. Calm Mind is the obvious play here. He has nothing to outspeed me. The one mon he does have to outspeed me is asleep, so that's super nice. I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. If I can set up here, I might actually be able to win the game. Alright, so is he going to go for the Wish, or is he going to go for the Hyper Voice or Moon Blast here? Goes for the Hyper Beam. Oh my gosh, I'm going to avoid that. Yeah, that's going to just win me the game here, I think, guys. Even if he does decide to go for the Hyper Beam, I am now 
Max setup. Pretty close to max setup. Goes for the hyper beam. He's gonna connect. Has to recharge here. Hopefully it's not a crit. Crit would be insanely unfortunate. I'm gonna go for the roost here. He is gonna be required to recharge. All right, so Sylveon's got our charge. Here, I'm just gonna go for the stored power. Should do a heck of a lot of damage. I'm hoping it'll take him out. Oh, please, please take him out. It does, it does take him out. Okay, I might be able to sweep him here. As we reach about um, just under the three quarter point in this match, maybe two thirds through to three quarters. Oh, my heart is just absolutely pounding right now. I do outspeed the Kangaskhan, unless he's Choice Scarfed. And here... Yeah, just Stored Power is the play. Goes for the Sucker Punch. Wow, that does take me out. I'm assuming that's Choice Banded. That's absolutely insane. It's Life Orb. Wow. Okay. So here, that's no problem. I can go out into the Nian Chao. That is a big problem. I was really hoping to sweep him with that. <laughs> Sucker Punch Kangaskhan is annoying in that situation for sure. Here, I think... I'm tempted to just go for the U-turn here. Because I'm, I'm thinking he'll probably want to switch out. He will stay in, I'm sure. Because that would just be a total JJ thing to do. I'm gonna lose this battle, yep. He's gonna stay in, I'm gonna just lose this battle based on absolutely nothing in terms of merit. He's going for the normal move, I assume. I'm just gonna go out into my Amoongus. This is probably a double edge, body slam. Mm-hmm, double edge it is. Perfect. Life Orb, Recoil, all that, okay. So he's going for those, I'm gonna swap out into my bug here. I'm assuming he'll go for another double edge. Goes for the Sucker Punch, okay, so that's perfect. That's actually good, um, here we can go for I think the energy ball here is the play. You might want to switch out into the clay doll. Hopefully he doesn't expect my energy ball to come out. I'm pretty TO'd that I let him, but I mean, you know, that was a good play on his part for sure. In terms of sucker punching the Swoobat. Let's see what he decides to do. I'm gonna get off the energy ball. I'm so surprised that he decides to stay in. That's really annoying, but he will KO himself with uh, double edge here. I've got the focus sash, so. His crit doesn't matter, he's gonna KO himself. Down goes the Kangaskhan. So the only thing playing against me here is timer, unfortunately. See what he goes into here. Love that slow selection, of course. The moment I try and play a quick game with setup, people are playing at the speed of molasses. Sometime today you'll pick a move. Come on, buddy. Like, my leg is literally just jittering right now, waiting for him to make a move. Seems like he's just gonna play timer here, I guess? I don't know. I'm very perplexed as to why he's not... Not deciding to go out. Okay, out comes the Slow King. Cool. 
All right, so here, I think we can go for the energy ball again. And if he does decide to go out into the clay doll, that's fine. Does end up knocking him out, perfect. All right, so now I think we are up uh, four to three, if I'm correct. It's very close right now. All right, so out comes the Durant. The big boy, he's a problem. But I'm just gonna go for the thunder here. Hopefully I can connect with that. Two minutes left till battle is over, so. We've got a very quick ending coming to this battle. <laughs> it's terrifying for me, honestly. Grant is fast asleep. He went for the first impression, I do believe. I am gonna connect with my thunder. And that does take out the Durant. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And we'll see what he decides to go out into next. Here comes the clay doll. Yep, yep. So we got the clay doll coming in here. I think here I do just want to go out into my um, mandibuzz. I'm up. Uh, he's got four fangs and I've got two, so yeah, I think the mandibuzz is the move. In case he wants to go for a psych move or a ground move, I should be able to. Out and if he wants to go for a rapid spin, that's fine too. Yep, he does end up going for that rapid spin. He's got the dazzling gleam, I know. His special attack really is not the best though. I'm thinking here I can probably just roost and show him that... Uh, well, I don't think he'll KO. If he does, then that's a different story, but at the same time, I do have the battle one here, so... He goes for the Dazzling Gleam. Does not take me out, and there you can see that I probably would have been able to finish off this battle in a victorious position. Uh, not that I'm not already, because I am going to get the win here. I'm going to click Roost one more time. Don't know if he got his command in, in time, but either way, I should be getting the victory in this one. I do defeat Wicked Ways. Uh, thank you, JJ. Good battle. You are definitely developing. I can see how uh, much more complex your thought process is in terms of switching and staying in. You do need to get a little bit better at predictions. Like I said, um, it looked like you're just staying in. And you need to not be set on that type of mindset. It's a very typical VGC mindset, but in singles, you're going to want to always switch into the resisted hit. And make sure to bring lots of recovery, clerical options, uh, you know, terrains, hazards, and defoggers, things like that. But much appreciation to you. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and we will get back to you again soon with another battle. This is Poketechnician out of here, and uh, peace to y'all.